All right, one's week squat and bench. Uh, just going to start off by saying this week so far has been incredibly rough. Got a new job, and the hours are really early in the morning, so I'm waking up about four hours earlier than I'm used to and getting much less sleep. So uh, you'll see even on this first set here, I was belted up when normally I do my first set without one. This is 4.15 for a set of five. Yeah, the reps just felt way heavier than they should, even with the belt. This is 4.65. No speed, uh, no speed on the bar on the way down. I was being really cautious because of how tired I was, which ended up being counterproductive. But reps are still going and moving. And on to the ones, one set. This is 5:20, and uh, this is the most I've had on my back since since the injury um, occurred. So it's been over three months since I've had this much weight on my back. First rep, pretty solid. I was. Pretty happy with it considering how bad I felt going into the workout. Told myself I'd be happy with three because of how I was feeling. And so there's three. And decided, but well, man, four four should be there. So the depth is getting slowly worse as I go. And then I told myself there's no way I'm going to get five. And every time I tell myself that I quit, so I'm going to at least try to get it. And if I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss it right. And so... Had some good spotters, save my butt. Moving on to the upper body accessories. Five sets of ten, close grip bench with the Tyler grips. Um, these were rough too. I, I started out with 235 and I only made it two sets before I had to lower the weight back down to 225 to finish it out. It was just it was just a really rough day. Everything was sore and just had to had to really grind out. You know, you're gonna have workouts sometimes that just you don't feel up to doing and it really sucks if they're you know your ones week on a 531 where it's the heavy stuff where you're supposed to be feeling you're most excited about the sets uh, I did my regular arm work after this um, I think this is the last week I'll be doing this actually and and on top of the curls and the tricep movements I added in uh, this little this little superset I didn't expect it to be a superset here and uh, Jason told me that he didn't turn off the camera and that I should just make it a superset. So I did those pike chins, and then I was just going to do dips, and then I decided I uh, might as well try to pike them, just because it's going to suck a lot to do. It was probably not the best idea. These are pretty, pretty cheaty. There's a lot of, there's a lot of form that is not present in this exercise right now. Ugh. It almost hurts me to watch it. Tell you the truth, just this, this, these whole work, these workouts were not. This one and then the bench one, I'm not too excited about. They didn't go the way I wanted them to, but that's just how it happens sometimes. I mean, it doesn't matter if you have a, if you have bad workouts because the only day that matters is meat day, and so you put in the work even when you don't feel like doing it, and it all pays off eventually. Uh, this is the next day came in, I was going to have a day rest in between, but because of the work schedule I got, I had to change it around, so I ended up doing these days back to back, which was just awful, because this was my heavy bench day with squat accessories, the day following my heavy squat day with bench accessories, it just ended up being terrible. That was uh, 265 for 5, it was close grip on the first set, and I put 300 on, you can just see the bar speed is just non-existent, every rep I, put, I picked up was just felt terrible. 335. I had it in my mind that I was going to, before this week came around, that I wanted to get four or five on this. And there's two, and I already started cheating it, so I shut it down. Uh, after that, I just went and did my, my five sets of ten on squat, 315. And I just called it good. I didn't want to, I didn't want to push it any more than that. I'd done enough work, and doing it back-to-back -back days was just really a gut check for me. So, I have my human squats going. I, on the fourth set, actually, I didn't film it, but I, I fell forward just because I was getting lazy with the light weight and just got on my toes and fell forward and had to good morning myself out of it completely, which probably wasn't the greatest idea ever. But, um, you know, the positive side of doing these two back-to-back, -back, even though the workouts themselves were just excruciatingly difficult, is that now I can... Um, my work schedule and my workout schedule should be a little bit better suited to one another.
And so I plan on finishing out this 531 cycle on Friday, uh, doing my pulls and doing my pressing in the, at the same workout, and then take the weekend off and then get out of this 531 stuff and get back into Shaco training starting next week. Um, I really miss that style of training and I don't know, 531, I like the training. I think it's really I think it's really solid and I think it's very beneficial, but it just stresses me out putting all your putting all your your hopes and dreams on one set for the day. I'd much prefer to just have the high volume and and know that I can really make a lot of sets count. So, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry this wasn't a more exciting video. Some days you just have to go and put in the work even when you don't feel like it. So this uh, next workout is going to be Friday, and that's going to be deadlifts and military press. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.